Hey there, happy February. It is a new month and a new day, and we are doing an empties, and we have not done this in a while. And I do have an empties. I'm gonna upload like winter empties that I did it right before I moved. It's just this is going up first, so I figured you guys wouldn't care. I have clothes, I have hair stuff, skincare, one makeup item, so it's kind of a collective month that I went through some things. And when I go through clothes, either something broke or it's just not for me anymore and then I'll donate it. So that's why I kind of like having those in here. Um, the first thing, let's not ramble. I hate that. Um, I don't know how this happened. I went through a shampoo and conditioner the exact same day. Like they both ended the same day. Is that not strange? That's literally never happened. Uh, and it's, it was a special day. No. Uh, yes. And no surprise, it's the L'Oreal Alvive Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Shampoo and Conditioner. If you've been with me for a while, I think I've been literally using this the last four years. It doesn't break me out. It's like a huge concern of mine. I'm very sensitive skin. I will break out everywhere. And when I say everywhere, everywhere, like anywhere my hair touches, I break out. So, uh, chest, back, face. Pimple City. Um, these, though, are the best that I've ever used to wear. Yeah, I still get some pimples and, like, body acne, but if I transfer and, like, switch to a new shampoo and conditioner, like, 9 out of 10 times, it's everywhere, and it's just, like, a bad mess, and I'm not about that life. I'm not about it. So, uh, yeah, I've been sticking with these. Do I need something probably healthier for my hair? I'm sure I do. I feel like it's been thinning and I'm getting a little self-conscious of it. Um, you'll see another product here in a few minutes of like how I'm trying to like combat it and I would love advice in the comments if any of you have experiences. I just like, I've never had, I have really fine hair. I've never had really thick hair though. Um, and like when I am, put those down and a ponytail. I just feel like there's, I mean, this is literally all of my hair. I feel like I should have double this. I don't know. And I can't remember if it's always been this way. I just feel like my brush has been getting fuller with my hair. Like I've been, you know, you can just tell. So yes, my, I don't want to lose it. It is very long and I'm sure a haircut would help, but like overall, like even at like the top, I just don't have a lot. It's just thin. Is that normal? Tell me if that's normal. I don't know. <sighs> when it's down and it looks like it's tangly right now and it's I'm looking at the viewfinder, it looks like I have hair. But I feel like it's because it's tangly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's moving on. The next thing is because I that's all the hair care. Clean and clear essentials, deep cleaning astringent. Um, it's this like acid acne medicine. This is a favorite of mine. I love this stuff. It is, um, if you're someone that, I have, like I said, I have sensitive skin. And yes, it gets me red, but it's not, my face doesn't hate this. Where some people where they will just like, it will burn and burn. And they'll be a red mess for like hours. That's not me. And it might be like that for you. So if you do have sensitive skin to like certain acne medications, I trained my skin early on. I had acid treatments early on when I was a preteen, so I don't know if my skin's just like used to me being very abrasive with it. Uh, it responds well to this. When I have acne, I love just like not having any makeup on and then just throughout the day using a cotton ball and just rubbing it around on my acne. So I'm a fan. I highly suggest it. There is 2% salicylic acid in here, and this is probably only $3, so. Uh, very low cost. I'm all about that life, especially when I go through like one of these every few months. Uh, next skincare-ish item. This is what I was talking about with uh, trying to help my hair. This is by Tula Skincare. It's called the Balanced Beauty Gummy Vitamin for Strong Hair, Skin and Nails Plus Probiotics. I want to say for 60 gummies and that's 30 days worth. This was around $25 which I thought was a good deal because probiotics are kind of expensive. And I have noticed a difference, not with like my hair or skin, I wish. Uh, no, in my um, <laughs> grossness here, gassiness. It has helped me so much in being gassy. Like, 
I've noticed less farting. That's what it comes down to. I know that's disgusting, but like we all deal with that. And I feel like a lot of food for me, I don't know if I like it's food sensitivity or whatnot, but I'm constantly like bloated and gassy feeling. And I have not been with this. Now granted this weekend was um, a fat boy weekend for me. And that is, I just went wild. Uh, and so right now I'm feeling a little bit, but like, it should be way worse, way worse. And throughout the normal week, I eat pretty healthy. Like, I eat healthy. That's what it comes down to. I eat very healthy. <laughs> and I still get, like, bloated. And this has just... I, I I do think I've been using it for, like, two months, three months, two months now. Three months. Three months now. And there's, like, a there's a difference. It's not just, like, placebo effect here. There is the difference. So I'm going to keep buying these. And I have recommend you trying it. I did use their skincare line because, like, Whitney Simmons... I'm sure a lot of you watch her on YouTube. She's one of my favorites. She is sponsored by the brand, but she uses the, all of her skincare with that. And I wanted it to work and it did not. I used their entire acne medicine line. And uh, no, nope, didn't work. So once I get through all that product line that I bought, and I spent a lot of money on that. Let me say it's not, it is not cheap. <laughs> I don't think I'll be repurchasing that, but I will be repurchasing the gummies. So I'm excited about it. I'm very excited that I found something that semi works for me. So I just want to eat the hair to work now. Give me advice on that, please. Uh, I went through some candles. Randall, which is my boyfriend, uh, has been obsessed with burning candles every single day. Like in the mornings, like he automatically burns it. I don't know. It's just like his morning routine now. So we've been going through them a lot more than I normally do. So we went through vanilla bean, which... I'm obsessed with the sugar cookie, which is their winter scent, and this is like the closest, in my opinion, to it. And it, oh, it smells so good, but it's subtle. It won't, it doesn't have a huge scent throw. But when I don't have the sugar cookie option, or I don't even think it's called sugar cookie, I think it's, is this it actually? No. When I don't have that option, that's the second best option. And then we also went through gooey caramel, caramel. I don't think I have a certain way to say that. I say both ways. This also so yummy. I love baked scents so much. I could, if that's all I ever bought, I'd be happy. And then another Bath and Body Works product. We went through iced eucalyptus gentle foaming hand soap with essential oils. And this was just the foam one. Typically, like the deep cleansing one with the beads in it but I don't think that's very environmentally friendly and I've been trying not to buy it I haven't been buying I say trying I haven't been buying them but I really miss them so I don't know if they maybe are thinking or if they've already changed their formula to where it's not even if they just put like sugar in it to have a little bit of grittiness I'd be happy and this was just a clean scent. I enjoyed it. And then last non-clothing product. I went through a mascara and I use it today. And that's why I was like, we're getting rid of you because it's very dry. And it was just flaking down my face all day. So that's when I knew it was time. This is the Voluminous Butterfly, which is by L'Oreal. And it's my favorite. Not specifically this one. I'm a little confused. I... I know they used to be purple, and I'm not sure why this is not purple, so I don't know if I got a different one. I thought that they expired them and discontinued the product, but I just saw it pop back up on Amazon, so I don't know if they just maybe changed the packaging and expired the old ones. I haven't been to the store and like looked in the mascara aisle to actually verify this, um, but I just want to tell you, and how I've always told you, that the Voluminous Butterfly by L'Oreal is my absolute favorite mascara in the world. and. I really hope it's back on the market because it's such a phenomenal product and it's only seven bucks so even better I'm not spending twenty dollars <laughs> I say that and I did um, I bought like three twenty dollar mascaras this year so but that's only because no that's not only because but it's because I couldn't find this but I did I did buy uh, well, they were on sale, but like some Tarte ones where it was like buy three for 30 and they were $20, $10 each. Worth it. And then a Marc Jacobs primer that was $38 and that was probably the most expensive I've ever spent um, on something for my eyeballs. Anywho, moving on. The next thing I'm getting rid of is this dress. 
I bought it from Close Mentor, which I am so obsessed with that store. It is the adult version of Play-Doh's Closet. And you can get, like, I'm pretty sure I got this for a dollar. They had a 90% off sale. I went ham on that sale. I got so much stuff. Uh, and so I don't feel bad about donating this now because I wore it once. I thought it looked cute on me when I first purchased it. And then after this, when I put it on the second time to wear it, I just felt like a frump ball. And I was like, it's time for me to um, pass you on to someone else. It is cute though. I wore it with a belt. It's like it is frumpy, let's be honest here. It's just like oversized, a bag dress, <laughs> like a potato sack. Uh, but I put a belt on it, it looked cute. It doesn't anymore. My uh, opinion of it changed, it happens. Um, second product I'm getting rid of, I had this on last night. They are PJs, um, but for some reason, and they fit, this is but from Target, I got it on clearance. So I don't, again, I think it was like six bucks. It's a shirt dress, but when I wear it, like the buttons don't lay, like they just lay open. And then I just feel like I'm flashing. I know it's just Randy here, but, and he doesn't care, but I don't like it. And it's, it's not tight by any means. It's just, they lay open. So I don't know. I'm getting rid of this. I don't feel like, I don't like it when I'm sitting there and just like, my stomach's out. I, <laughs> no, thank you. The last thing is this sweater. And I actually never wore this. Uh, I got it from Clothes Mentor. I want to say I spent $14 on it. I'm going to donate it. It just felt itchy on me. It is cute. It's like, it has little speckles of color and it's by Lucky Brand. And I like the length of it. It's like, overall, it, it's cute. It's just, it does not feel good. And if I'm not comfy, I'm not happy. So I'm happy to say goodbye to you, but someone will love you. Okay, that's uh, everything. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to see the three month, I guess I would do an all fall at that point, but my fall empties, there was a lot of stuff and I did a video right before I left. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload it. We'll see though. Um, and other than that, leave me again comments about if you have, thinning hair what you're doing to help with that I rarely dye my hair so you don't have to put that in the comments um that's not a problem for me and I never use heat on it I rarely use heat on it like maybe this year I've 10 times used a hot iron on it Oh, you know what? No, 15 times this entire, like, 2020 of, like, curling it or using a straightener right at the bottom. Um, and then twice I've blown drown, blown drown, <laughs> blue dry it. Blue, blow, blow dry your hair. I blew, brain's not working. I used a hair dryer on my hair twice this last year, so... It's not about styling, so we can avoid those. Anyways, I'm going. I love you. I will see you soon in another video. Bye.